for all of you watching out there, this is your how-to guide on how to make an amplifier, an amplifier case. First, you just need 30 years experience. <laughs> and, then, and then you can start on this part. So hurry up, get to work on your 30 years of experience, and then uh, you get to do this. I don't think uh, most people have any idea of exactly how much work goes into getting this right. Ah, it's cooling it down with liquid so that it doesn't catch fire. No fire, just uh, uh, the temperature change the structure of course. Also cutting the. Uh, ah, okay. And if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, cool cooling, cooling down, uh, the core is uh, not good. Interesting. So, yeah, to cut the core, you have to cool it. I uh, must, must close this. And, oh, they cover in all the good stuff so that we don't go blind. <laughs> 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 all right, here we go. Yeah, okay, it has to be a very precise cut. It can't be done by hand. And it's cool because if you don't cool it, it changes the molecular structure of the core and it, it's useless. So you have to cool it as you go, which this machine does with a liquid. And it's all covered up so that we don't... You can see. Here's a little look down in there. Now, is it covered because of the steam? Yeah, because of the water. Ah, oh, okay. The liquid. So now the core has been cut. Just have to loosen it in its berth. Et voila! What was one is two. And this will be a output transformer? This will be an output transformer. For something. For something. We're not, <laughs> yeah. We don't know yet. We just know from here it gets vacuumed and resin and baked. <laughs> and then eventually it'll get a, prim a tape and then primary winding, 4,000 wounds of copper. And that's just the beginning of your amplifier. Okay, this box, this is the hot box. It's for baking the resin onto the transformers after you vacuum after you vacuum them so sasha is threading this up two links like a sewing machine almost except not gets it threaded one of the things you see around here is all kinds of different copper loads and loads of different kinds of copper for different types of use different types of transformers power transformers output transformers chokes interstage transformers and different ones of all of those for every application so you can imagine it gets uh, fairly complex you've got different cores and coppers for everything now the actual winding goes on the core after the tape is around the core. So you see it starts to get a nice look. So this is what is this after the first winding? This is the primary winding. Yeah, so this is after the primary. This is what it ends up looking like. It's, uh, it's a lot of copper. Yeah, it's uh, 4,000 windings. 4,000 what? Windings. 4,000 windings Wind. around this core. That's a lot of windings. <laughs> That's a lot of patience. But the machine is very speed. Very speed. <laughs> yeah. That's 4,000. So this one has a long way to go, but one day it'll be this beautiful copper you see here. And that's before a secondary winding, and maybe even a third, but probably only a secondary. 
so here we are with the CNC machine and Trophomatic's owner, Sasha. That's how you get those very deep, precise cuts. So here we see the final plate with all the little intricacies carved out by this CNC router. Okay, this is 138 steps to uh, a traffomatic amplifier. This is oversupplied for print. <laughs> right, that looks like soft touch. Is that yes, soft touch? Yes, the soft touch. So, more painting. You see the nozzles on the wall. Ah, here we have a giant filter for the air so that uh, you don't take on too many paint chemicals. Beautiful, sleek cabinetry, really well finished. It's um, a very modern look. And of course, here's the EOS line. And this is the EOS integrated KT120, which we love so much, which if you've seen our videos, you've seen this amplifier. And it's massive power supply down there on the floor.